Objective. To derive the mathematical expression of Newton's law of gravitation. Sir Isaac Newton, the most renowned physicist, while wandering in a garden, observed an apple falling from a tree. He wondered, why does the falling apple descend perpendicular to the ground? Newton contemplated about it. He was convinced that the apple was pulled towards the ground by a force of attraction. Newton concluded that this attractive force is nothing but the gravitational force exerted by the Earth. In fact, the Earth pulls all objects around it towards its center. This is the reason why any object thrown upwards eventually falls down. Newton theorized that this force of attraction is not unique to the Earth alone, but any two objects in the universe can attract each other in the similar manner. Newton generalized his observations and expressed them in the form of a law known as Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation. It states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force that is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the particles and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. On combining the two relations, we get F is directly proportional to m1, m2 by r square. By removing the proportionality, we get F is equal to g m1, m2 by r square. g is a constant of proportionality and is called as the universal gravitational constant and its value is 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 newton meter square per kg square. In our everyday life it is the gravitational force of the earth that holds us to the ground. Newton's universal law of gravitation explains the motion of satellites around a planet and the motion of planets around the sun. It holds true for objects of all masses, but becomes palpable in case of astronomical objects such as satellites, planets, stars and black holes. Audio, Summary the gravitational force of attraction between two particles of masses, Ma and Mb, separated by a distance r, is Gma Mb by r square.